Hi, thanks again for joining me on MTV. This week, I'm talking about the top three things to consider before signing a contract with a builder. So those of you that have been in this situation before with a renovation or a building, or you're about to come into this situation where you're going to renovate or build, and you're gonna look at a builder to select from, there's a few key things you need to always remember before you get involved in that relationship. It is a long-term relationship that can go on for months, more than likely at least a year, particularly if it's a, a, a home build. If it's a renovation, it might be smaller, but if it's a home build, it could be a year, potentially more. And this is where things go wrong. So before you sign a contract with a builder, the things you need to consider firstly is to get a draft of the contract. Really important to actually be very transparent from the start. If the builder's forthcoming, which they should be, they'll give you that draft. It should be from an industry association, so more than likely, with many home builders, you'll get a, a template that could be from a HIA, the Housing Industry Association, or the MBA, the Master Builders Association. They'll use it as a template. There's many basic um, templates there as part of that contract, or should say clauses in those contracts that should be standard. But read it, go through it, ask the questions if you don't understand it. It's important to understand that before you sign, if you're not certain on things, you are stuck with them for the life of that uh, contract and that building experience. And so this is the time to ask the questions, note them down, have a highlighter, go through that. And more importantly, if you feel you need to have the need, ask someone else, a professional, a third party where we can help, but ask someone else about it because you learn from other people's experiences. You don't want to be a statistic on one of those horror stories with the building experience. You want to be on the other half where it's all fun and you actually get what you want. But if you don't ask up front, you won't get it. And the ones, remember this, the ones that ask the loudest get heard first, so ask that question. The second part is where a lot of people get it wrong when they are going, particularly with new builds, for a home, is get quotes on the landscaping. Now, a lot of time, we look at the home, we look at the, in, the inside, particularly the second fix, the tiles, the tapware, the lighting, the paint colors, the selections, etc., And then we forget the contract on the landscaping. And what happens is you're going to move in, and it depends on what time of the year it is, you can end up with this beautiful home that's been built and a, just a whole heap of dirt at the front and in the backyard. Now, you can include, sometimes it's not included in your building contract, but again, if you consider that contract, you go through that, you check that out first. If it's not included, you can ask them, can it be included and find out what the cost is. But that's your opportunity also to compare with you contracting a, a professional landscaper and seeing what they can do, or depending if you think you're a bit of a green thumb and you can and go for that part yourself, you might want to take those parts of the works out and do it yourself. But it's important you have that plan in, in advance. Don't wait until the house is being finished, built, and then ask that question, because you can find you'll be one of those homes that just sort of you drive past and you got stuck with a whole heap of dirt out the front or sand mounds which just hasn't been done for months and months. You could be busy, whatever it could be, work, etc. Get it sorted out from the start, know exactly what it is you're gonna want and look for, and then you move on from there. The third thing to consider, and this is where I would say a huge chunk of people get this wrong with renovations or buildings, is consider getting help. Don't do this alone. This is now a major investment. Doesn't matter where you're positioned in the income scale, any renovation or build is expensive, okay? And to do it properly, you want to make sure that your dollar is giving you value because as I always say, plan when you build and when you renovate, even though you might think it's the forever home, you need to understand what that value is in the future because you never know when you may need to sell or when you're going to sell. And you don't want to overcapitalize, you don't want to miss out on opportunities and you want to make sure you don't get stuck with a money pit. So these are the time we always say, a fail to plan is a plan to fail. At the start, ask questions. So you could get those drafts of those contracts, you get the landscaping quotes, you get any, any other support you might want. People like our Monster Pros, our professionals that can actually help you go through that process. And we now have got lots of people coming to ask us about how we can guide them along the whole journey. And they've been very transparent with their builders that have got a Monster Pro involved, and we're there for you. And that actually gives you peace of mind and make sure that every hard earned dollar that you're spending on your builder renovation is giving you value and you're getting what you want. So remember, don't do it alone. You get that support. You check out Monster Pros. We've got a range of offerings and products there. And you can get that 10-minute 10, 10 free consult with our Monster Crew if you want to ask those questions. Details are up there now. 
we can help you from start to finish. So, happy building. Looking forward to seeing some of your photos and inquiries on renovations or buildings in the future. And remember, don't hesitate to ask the monster crew. We're here for you. Until next time, I'll see you on MTV.